Can you tell us a little bit about the hygiene hypothesis? Sure. This was a hypothesis that was put forward by somebody called David Strachan in 1989. And basically, he came up with this idea to try and explain why we saw so many more people getting allergies in the 20th century. What do you think is the role of the world around us in changing how our immune system works? So what Strachan noticed was that in the country, in particular farms, people tended to have less allergies than people who lived in cities or towns. He also noticed that people who were in very large family groups, so a lot of brothers and sisters, were also less likely to have allergies. So he wondered if it was early exposure to germs that was really protecting people from allergy and you were more likely to get that exposure if you had a big family or you were living in the country. So what are some possible explanations for this? Well, the, the idea would really be that the, the early exposure to germs is educating your immune system and giving you a fit immune system so that it doesn't start responding incorrectly to things that should be harmless. Because basically what an allergy is, is you reacting to something that's completely harmless that you should ignore. So is it all germs that we should be thinking about here or are there some specific ones involved? So that's a very good question. There's been a lot of research on this looking at all sorts of different bacterial infections and also viral infections. And the research has basically produced very conflicting results. They're just not clear. However, the hypothesis has moved on to focus on the old friends hypothesis. And that introduces the idea of parasitic worm infections um, and their role in perhaps protecting us against allergy. So your own work is looking at parasitic worm infections. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we are very interested to understand how your immune system deals with parasite worm infections. And in particular, we're trying to understand the products that parasites make and how they manipulate the immune response to promote their own survival. And lots of other groups are doing that as well all over the world. There's even clinical trials using parasites to try and prevent disease. The other thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to understand why some people have a very bad immune response to worms because obviously you don't want to give somebody like that a worm infection. So we're looking at biomarkers that will help predict the people who are less likely to do well with worms.